I'm an engineer basically to start with this my training. But then during my days of engineering, because I'm into the Indian culture that we have very easy access to the spiritual knowledge and spiritual way of life and all those things. So I was really inspired by that during my engineering days and then one of the important tools in the spiritual journey is the idea of yoga and this is the part of the culture so I picked it up and then we did a lot of scientific research in the field of yoga. In Bangalore we have a huge center, we turned out several yoga research papers and therapy aspects of it and later on just to disseminate this particular energy, the learning and the process and everything, we have started this Yoga Bharati in USA, California. And under this Yoga Bharati, we have yoga teacher training program and yoga therapy activities. And we would like to develop further more into various areas. And in the process that when we are learning about yoga and spirituality, our interest was to go to some place where we have a retreat we can day long we can spend in thinking about that first in each stage we had selected a couple of places the places were okay for us to stay and also we have our activity but the place itself did not have that spiritual background behind it then suddenly we came across this yoga forum it not only offers a place wonderful place for us to stay but more important thing is innately this place has that spiritual atmosphere because the simple reason is that the inspiration behind this center is uh, Swami Vishnu Devananda who was the disciple of Shivananda and Shivananda was one person in those earlier days inspired by Swami Vivekananda so like this we could see that the whole connection has been there for several hundreds of years with this place and particularly Swami Sita Ramananda. She is so dedicated to Vishnu Devananda's ideas and Shivananda's ideas. It was easy for us, very easy for us, not only for people like us, but even the new participants every time that they come to this particular place, they find very inspiring to be here because the spiritual connection is one and the same thing. In fact, when we come to the level of spirituality, it's beyond all the boundaries of culture, caste, creed, and uh, nationality and all that. And that one kind of an atmosphere as humanness of the human being, which is really close to the divinity, and we can find in this particular place. So whether it is food, whether it is place to stay, or the playgrounds for the children, for the whole family, it offers a nice, wonderful uh, center, spiritual retreat center here. Yes, somebody has written a book, I forgot the name of it, The World is Flat. See, we came round one full circle, because before Copernicus, they thought that world is flat. Copernicus said world is round, and from now it has come to world is flat. But now with a different sense and meaning. That means to say that the flat is place where the water freely flows from one place to another place and there are no boundaries, there is nothing like that. I think we have come to that level where there are no boundaries and that's what is the global consciousness. Unfortunately, politically and various other ways that people have created all these boundaries. When we break these boundaries that we get into the global consciousness. And this was there so much in the Indian philosophy, Indian thinking, because way back, almost like 6,000 years ago, Indian philosophy has given a concept that the world is a family. Vasudaika Kutumbakam. That means this concept of family, the whole universe has one family. That was there talked eloquently. And also there are mantras which says that let everybody be happy. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhraha. Everybody get the benefit of this knowledge. Like that, it has always been there. And uh, it was there so naturally with the Indians in the Indian culture. But many people have not realized the depth and importance of this global consciousness idea. And these people, for the pursuit of their own careers and, and jobs and all that, they have come to USA and they started living here. 
But then after living here, they see that this aspect of our culture also has to be brought about not just only technology and medicine, etc., the modern science knowledge, but this ancient wisdom also to be brought about. So this way, that a cent and particularly when they see a center where, without any boundaries, various nationals, they are all here in that ashram and then practice it. They say it's like a opening, eye opener for them to come to discover this place. So that's how basically that for Indians looking for spirituality is also that the West is providing places like this. And in the places of the Westerners who are practicing these things, people like Vishnudevananda came here and when he came hardly there was anything. There are few people who are inspired by that. They have seen him personally, they were inspired and then they gave the message like Swami Ramananda, Sita Ramananda gives a message. But then many people who are Westerners living in the West, they come here, they see, is there any culture which is living this kind of a thing back in India? Now they see that a lot of Indians coming and doing this kind of a program. It, bring, it brings about a nice, wonderful, uh, you know, feel for the global consciousness. Global consciousness is not an intellectual idea. It's a feel that you have to feel at the heart level. And centers like this, practices like this, morning and evening, yoga, and then bhajan, meditation, and simple living. These are the things which show that that the material boundaries that we have are not that important but once we really be, go beyond that, leap beyond that then we get into the global consciousness. I think we need this kind of thing for the future of the mankind so that we will create a new culture altogether which is based on the global consciousness. I wish this particular center a very very great future and many more such coordination between Yoga Bharati and this place takes place and not only Yoga Bharati would like to bring in various other similar organizations like that to see that how in future we can create a much more easy reach for everybody uh, for this kind of a culture. Wish you all the best. Mm -hmm. Thank you.